Oh my god. And what the what the? Oh okay. Hey guys, so I just got this package in. The problem with me just getting this package in is I got it in a day late. If you guys didn't read the title, there's fish in here. And you can't really leave fish in a box. I uh, I order fish off eBay. Who doesn't do that? I'm pretty sure most people don't, but I did. I ordered golden guppies. Pretty sure everybody knows what a guppy is. Um, and these ones were uh, golden. So, so yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's all there is to it. Okay. So my fear is that all these are gonna be dead because uh, that's how this normally goes. Okay. Oh, oh, cash? Nope. Oh my God. You have got to be joking with me right now. Okay, these are sick. And every single one of them is alive. I don't know if you can see them in there. These are gold guppies, completely gold. What the heck? That is insane. Okay, so these guys have been in a bag for a long time. There's four in here and they look, not gonna lie, they look pretty cool. So we're gonna take them over to the guppy breeding room and get them in a tank. Okay, there you go. Nice and safe. Woo, all right. They look cool in a double bag thing like that. I can't imagine what they look like out of the package. But the fact that they came alive is fantastic. All right, so all the tanks are doing really good. Look how clean the saltwater tank is. But the light, we got taken off of there right now because we're working on it. All the betas are doing good, but we're trying to come over here to this guppy tank. And that is it, all brightened up. So I'm about to show you these golden guppies. I don't know if you can see them in there or how well you can, but you can see the gold on them. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's some of the other guppies, but this is a sick, sick tank. So hopefully we can keep all these guys alive because definitely want to breed these. Okay, so it's been probably about 10-ish, 15 minutes we're gonna pull these guys out oh come my goodness can you see them like that you might be able to see them a little bit better like that those are sick all right grab the net there's a fan in here because some water spilled the other day you guys see them a little bit better out of water maybe maybe can, you can kind of see them all right we're gonna get them there's one. Oh my goodness the thing is is these guppies aren't small like there's one of them you see all the gold on the back of them there's another one back there there's another one right there there's a big one right there their gold is kind of fading right now it's probably because they just got put into water but that one's gold is kind of there a lot you can see but those are golden guppies just chilling so i think their gold's gonna come back i think it's just because i kind of put them in the water but the front of them was a little bit more gold a second ago but it might be because they're a little stressed but there's one back up behind there if you guys can see him and then the others are right there not gonna lie that was well worth the money and i say that because they sell really well on ebay and those are definitely gonna be some sick ones to breed because i've never seen those in stores three days later so these are the guppies that i got i am interested to see how much an average fish like store owner would price these things i went on ebay and ordered these things right here okay how do you what type of guppies do you think made the like golden guppies like that well i needed to get some blood worms that was a work all of the fish here are doing pretty good. They still they still have all these flower horns right here. If you guys remember those, there's a female flower horn, 70 bucks. But they've got a lot of flower horns, neon tetras. Not entirely sure what is in here. Ooh, guppies. Yep, see, this is what we're working with today, guppies. That, that, that's a pretty cool looking guppy. Oh, wow. There's a big Oscar down there. That looks like my old Oscar. He's got a little beat up head, but that thing is sick. I haven't had an Oscar in a long time. I mean, we have that one in the indoor pool pond, but that one looks so sick. Definitely need to get another big Oscar. And then everybody comment some fish ideas for the saltwater tank i mean there's a bunch of stuff here we'll run through it real quick there's some of the cardinals up there we have some of those though those are sick those guys are dope i don't know a lot about saltwater fish so if you guys want to give me some ideas in the comment section that little guy is sick oh wow those look just like cardinals those look just like the cardinals but different colors and then of course i've i've owned one of these before a, a good old snowflake eel and what the what the what is that what are you oh my goodness you're so ugly i love it i want that fish it's an, I think it's an angler. I think, I think that's what it is. That is an angler. That is dope. So that's what that fish was. It was an angler, but they don't move a lot. So you can put them in really small tanks, but they will eat anything. So they, they need to be by themselves. It's like a, a mouth and a tail. Like that's, that's all they have to them. But it'd be cool to get a little saltwater desk tank for that. Like put it in the kitchen or something and put that guy in there and feed them like baby squirrels or something, you know? Okay, I would defrost them, but you don't really need to. Just gonna drop a cube in there. Come over here, cube in there. 
Oh, you see, he's gonna try and eat it, but it's not gonna work. And because they float, I'm gonna set it in here for a second and kind of let it dissolve, dissolve off that block. And then I'll pull it out and put the rest of it in here. Now that some of it's dissolved off, I can start breaking. You guys can kind of see it's just breaking apart now. All right, and then come over here and then drop the rest of it in there and everything will eat it there too. So we just fed that tank, this tank, and that tank. All right, I'm getting tired of this. It's starting to sprinkle and I'm kind of getting annoyed because genuinely, I love filming videos when it's bright and sunny and happy and it's not of those right now we're supposed to get tornadoes tonight which is fantastic can't wait for that but it is starting to rain so we're gonna turn on these big old spotlights that i use for all the animals and then hey guys um uh, hi hi steven it is not easy to undo this with one hand okay okay pop that open what's going on my man come on everybody come on oh the ducks the ducks were mating yesterday they were getting at it he grabbed her and and put her underwater and just he just did he just yeah 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 no the ducks are gonna have eggs 100 100 they are uh they're liking each other quite a bit you sneezed oh, so cute come on out come on it's okay see oh she's moving slow see i guarantee you she's pregnant everything already ate all right good wow these things are Full oil. That's what happens when you get a whole new thing of food. One, two. Actually, it's gonna rain tonight. Put that back. This isn't gonna last very long. Hey, buddy. No, 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 no. Y'all don't need to eat the duck food. Dang it. See, they go out and they just start eating the duck food. There you go. That's the food you want, boys. Girl and, and girl. Okay. All right. There we go. This is gonna be like the ducks and goats' first thunderstorm. Like, we're gonna eat tornadoes tonight. That's what happens with Texas. But I gotta fill up that thing of baking soda because they actually did eat all of it. They did, which is good. All right, it's starting to rain right now, but I'm gonna slide in here. Hey, so yeah, they are definitely munching on this baking soda, which is fantastic. If you guys don't know what this is used for, it's used for something called bloat. All right, there we go. And I think after this, we're gonna be just about all out of baking soda. We're gonna push this in the back, put some stuff around it. Oh my goodness, I found the bent hammer. That can go in there. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I don't know if you guys noticed, but that waterfall may be running, but this one isn't. And that is because our skimmer is clogged. If you guys didn't know what this thing was, that's what this is. Because there's a freaking plastic bag in there. What the heck? Okay. You grab this. Do that. And all that comes out. And then you come back over here and open her up. Now, if my calculations are correct, give it a second. Give it a second, give it a second. It's broken, okay. Well, you can see the bubbles, she's trying. That means the pump is probably clogged. Great job, kids. Oh, we're getting a stream, we're getting a stream. Come on, why do you keep sneezing? Stop it. Steven, get out of my way, get, move. So I got these things called silver sides. There's not that many in here, but I still need to feed the fish. I know the ducks are gonna try and steal it from the fish, but I guess it doesn't hurt to try. This is what they look like right there, and we're just gonna give a nice, come on, come on. Something come up and grab them. Wow, looks like they're not eating, sick. We'll get back to hand feeding all the animals soon. I need to do a massive water change on that pond. Probably like a 50th percent, I think. We gotta we gotta do that soon. So this shirt is cool and all, but what's a lot cooler is this. You guys have seen this everywhere. The Danger by Fanatic Media shirt. It's got an arowana coming through the middle of it. Yeah, these shirts right here are about to become limited edition. You're never gonna be able to get them again by the end of January. So the Danger merch, it's gonna be gone. It's gonna be replaced with something though, but it's it's gonna be gone. So if you guys wanna be some of the only people to ever own stuff like this, go to thefanaticbrand.com and get the last bit of the Danger merchandise. Hoodies, everything. Thing, including what's gonna be canceled the danger by fanatic media champion backpack. Yep So I'm just saying go get it now. I'm coming little guys. Come on. I'm right here. Okay. There they all are Oh, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's still three. There's four five and and a bent net <laughs> All right, we got the goldfish and this is what I do with the goldfish Okay, you get the goldfish and then you come over here and then you pop them into this pond right here and they are good to go See they kind of swim around in here and then once this the second the ducks get in here They will eat all of them which is super healthy for them Well guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video If you've yet to join my channel click the subscribe button down below like I said about the merch go get it before it's gone forever But genuinely if you guys like today's video make sure to click that like button click the subscribe button down below follow all of my social media links YouTube Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all of them, go follow them. Also, st like uh, Steven and Oreo, go follow their Instagram. They've got like a thousand followers already. It's literally Steven and Oreo. But yeah, go follow that. If you guys have any videos, ideas, or suggestions, comment them down below. I'm about to tonight, I think I'm gonna go on Instagram and have you guys tell me some video ideas for some upcoming videos. So go to my Instagram, go follow it so you guys can be a part of that. If you went on to enjoy today's video, click the like button, click the notification bell. With that being said, I will catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.
Saquon. 